What do school and Path of Exile have in common? That's right, punishment. For lacking knowledge. Unlike school, I actually spent time learning PoE, so that today we could delve deep into one of the most important mechanics to understand in Path of Exile, Diminishing Returns. Now, Diminishing Returns is most notably an economic concept which roughly translates to the point at which you begin to get less out of your investment than you did previously. With PoE, this isn't something that will happen at some point in the future, but rather something that begins to chip away at your investment from the moment you start investing your very first passive into the passive tree. Path of Exile is a game of math, and numbers can tell an important story. You'll notice on each investment of 100% increased damage here, the damage goes up by a value of 100, which might make you believe I'm getting the same thing out of my initial investments, which is something valuable. But when you look closer at the numbers, you'll realize that the actual in-game difference in my damage when making the same investment over and over is actually dwindling. You can see the trend that the same investment gives less and less the more you ha already have of it. The reason this occurs is because most stats in the game operate as an additive multiplier, meaning multiple of the same stats are summed together before multiplied on the item they are modifying. PoE is a game of specific language, and they have a few multiplicative modifiers that use the words more or less in the descriptor. This is very key because without those words, generally speaking, the item you're looking at is something with diminishing returns. A rule of thumb I'd give you is, unless it strictly uses the wording more or less on it, the stat has diminishing returns. The more you put into it, the less you're gonna get out of it. This is the case with virtually all diminishing returns in Path of Exile. You can see in this graph the trend they take as initially having large effects, but ultimately dwindling to noticeably nothing, a negligible effect, the more you have of the stat. Another quick thing I'd like to cover is the power of the less modifier. This comes in a few different places in PoE, and is a force to be reckoned with. I ran a few numbers to illustrate how strong less is as a modifier, so engaging whether an item with a less modifier downside is worth it or not, simply turn it into a fraction, take the reciprocal to figure out how much of a more modifier you need to be getting out of this to actually end up on the upside. This is important to gauge whether or not something is worth using or not. When optimizing diminishing returns, it's important to diversify your passive investment into multiple different categories to get the best results. I made an example of DPS outputs for insane investment into singular focus on stats, and you notice they performed worse than the builds with arguably much less passive investment that diversified their investments into multiple categories of damage scaling. This is why meme builds often perform so poorly. Although it's fun to invest heavily into a machine gun like cast speed, it is not the best way to optimize a character for damage or survivability. For an idea of ways you can diversify your build scaling, I wrote a few different stats that multiply with each other for both damage over time skills and attack skills. Lastly, it's important to keep in mind stats like accuracy or crit chance have a limit. Once you hit 4k accuracy or 100% crit chance, there's no point in investing further into these stats as you get literally no benefit from them. Other prominent cases of diminishing returns come with things that say add additional this or add additional that. Of these, most prominently is adding additional projectiles to skills where the projectiles can all hit the same target multiple times. This will serve as the example for all additional item like modifiers. They have basically the same diminishing return scaling, but it's most prominent in projectiles. First, you'll notice in the normal case, this scenario is the same as before, approaching zero noticeable effect as you invest into the stat to infinity. But what's even more interesting is barrage support something that adds a downside into getting more projectiles, giving you 5% more attack time. This makes each additional projectile give less and less benefit while also instituting a hard limit of damage that can be created from adding projectiles to the build. An interesting additional item example is Impale because it has its own multiplicative modifier known as Impale Effect. Although this modifier has diminishing returns, it's part of why Impale builds can scale their damage so well because it's just another item they can invest into to get closer to a multiplicative result rather than an additive result. In conclusion, diminishing returns are virtually everywhere. Learning and understanding them will help you make better builds. Ultimately, to perfect min-maxing a build requires a lot of math. Lucky for you, there is a solution. That solution is Path of Building, and I'd highly recommend it as a tool to help you optimize your builds when trying to decide between various stats to yield the best result. Understanding the mechanics will take you to the right location, while using Path of Building will help you find the buried treasure located there. Don't solely rely on POB, but use it as a helpful tool is what I'd recommend. I hope this helped you understand diminishing returns in PoE, and I thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, friends.